Reviews, Compare Documents, and Overlay Pages features were created to make comparing drawings quicker and easier. Compare Documents automatically scales, rotates, and aligns two drawing revisions, then highlights all identified differences with easy-to-see clouds. Overlay Pages can compare two or more PDFs that are different page sizes, or even skewed, by allowing you to pick points for comparison and assign different colors to each page so you can visually see the differences. You can find both of these features in review under Document, Comparison. First, let me show you how to compare drawings side by side. Select Compare Documents and choose the documents to compare. Document A should be your original or older drawing, and Document B should be your more recent document or revision. Use this arrow to select among the PDFs you already have open in review. Or click this button to browse through your hard drive for the right PDF. Under each document, adjust the page range to make sure that each page you're comparing will line up to its matching page. Next, make sure your PDFs are aligned correctly. If you are working with PDFs that were converted through Bluebeam's plugin using the same conversion settings, Review shouldn't have trouble aligning them automatically. However, sometimes auto-alignment doesn't get it exactly right, particularly when one or both of the drawings were scanned. In that case, manual alignment options will become available so you can align the drawings for accurate comparison. Use Select Window or use Pick Points and select three points on each drawing. Click Content down here, and Review will help you snap to the vector content when choosing those three points. When the drawing is compared, Review will use that rectangle or those points to align the two drawings. Review will now create a new copy of document B with the suffix diff and place revision cloud markups over the differences. The screen will split to show this drawing side by side with the original drawing. These two drawings are also automatically synced, so when you zoom into one, the other will zoom to match. And if you open the markups list, you can click through the markups and easily see the changes that were made. Hit Reply to add a comment to a markup. You can make note of your review process using the checkbox column or by changing the markup statuses as you go along. The dimmer tool here allows you to dim the PDF's underlying content in order to better see the markups on the page. To set the level of dimming, click the arrow on the dimmer button. The lower the percentage, the less intense the underlying PDF will appear and the more the annotations will pop. If you need to, you can go back and adjust these settings and generate a new comparison. You can turn off the split view and synchronization here, and you can turn on the dimmer here. You can change the comparison type here, from printed documents from the same printer, to printed documents from different printers, or scanned documents. Click Advanced to adjust grid size, pixel density, color sensitivity, and other comparison attributes. To save these settings for future comparisons, click this button and type in a name. Saving these settings will give you the ability to quickly toggle between types of documents received from different team members or for different projects. For example, scanned drawings received from a contractor versus PDFs created from reviews CAD plugins received from an architect. You can adjust the properties of the cloud markups here.
and change the documents that the markups will apply to here. You can change the location for where the difference file will be saved here and change the suffix for that new file here. Click Save up here to confirm your changes or click Restore Defaults to clear the changes you've made. To compare a group or batch of drawings all at once, click Add Files here. You can also open Batch Compare Documents directly from File, Batch, Compare Documents. Now let's talk about the other way you can compare documents in review, Overlay Pages. To start, let's go back to that selection menu under Document, Comparison, and select Overlay Pages. If you already have two or more PDFs open, Review will automatically use them as the documents to overlay. To delete a document from the list, select it and click this button. Click Add to bring in more documents. Here you can make sure the right pages are chosen for the comparison. When you're ready, click OK. Now you'll see that Review has taken these two vector drawings and laid them one on top of the other in such a way that you can see the bottom drawing through the other one. You can see really quickly where the changes were made between the drawings. The lines that pop out in red represent the parts of this room that were removed between the red revision A and the green revision B. Those green lines, then, are the changes that were added in revision B. And the black lines show what remained unchanged between the drawings. These drawings were also assigned to their own layers. You can control which drawing is displayed here by turning these layers on and off from the Layers tab. Let's go back now and take a look at some of the special adjustments you can make when setting up your pages to be overlaid. First of all, you can change the colors that will represent each drawing by clicking here and selecting a new color. For best results, we recommend choosing two opposing colors, such as the default colors red and green. As you saw, when red and green are overlaid, the resulting blend of color is black. But if you were to choose yellow and green, for example, the blended color would be a darker green, which would be hard to distinguish from the original colors. You can also customize the overlay further by adjusting opacity, blend mode, etc. But I'll leave mine at default. And you can choose to add more than two drawings to an overlay by simply clicking Add down here and choosing a file. For best results, we suggest overlaying no more than four drawings at once. To make more adjustments, select a drawing in the list and click Modify. Here you can change the name for the layer that will be generated for the drawing, as well as further adjust its appearance. Down here you can change the rotation, scale, and general positioning for the drawing. As with compared documents, you might come across instances where the drawings don't automatically align perfectly. Such instances might be when the drawings were created at different scales, one or more of them is rotated or skewed, or you're working with a drawing that represents a small section of the full drawing. In those cases, Align Points can help you quickly get things back on track. Click the button and Review will prompt you to choose three points on each drawing to manually align them. Make sure to select those three points in the same locations and in the same order for each drawing. And voila! The drawings are aligned. 
Here, let me show you that again with a full drawing and a smaller sketch. Now, did you ever think comparing documents could be that easy? Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers!